Welcome to the world of Weatherby. I'm Britt. And today is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pork belly that you see laying here before me and I'm gonna show you how to skin it. And then we're gonna take part of it and we're gonna make bacon out of half of it. And I'll show you how I put my cure on it and how I bag it up. Then we put it in the refrigerator and it'll sit there till next weekend. And then the other half of it, I'm gonna make burnt pork ends. Pork bellies turned into burnt ends. And they're out of this world. And is what I'll do with those is I'll season them up with our bold and spicy seasoning. And I'll put them in a, a little pan and I'll let them sit there till tomorrow so they can absorb the flavors. And then tomorrow sometime I'll throw them on the smoker and we'll smoke them for three to four hours and then we'll pan them up and we'll put some uh, of our top shelf barbecue sauce on them and mix them around throw them back on the smoker and cook them for about another two hours and then is what happens then you get the burn ends it'll come crispy on the outside and so tender and succulent on the inside and that's what we're going to do and then after i show you what to do with the bacon i'm going to show you what i do with the skins and today i'm going to take those skins and i'm going to cut them in about four inch squares and then i'm going to season those up and i'm going to throw them on the smoker and then they'll smoke for about three to four hours till they dry out and get crispy and then we can throw them in a vat of oil and fry them and make pork skins. What else is there to do with pork belly but to make pork skins? I know there's other things, but that's what I like doing with them. And they'll be good and seasoned with our bold and spicy. And that's it. So now I'm going to show you how to skin this bad boy. And that's the fun part. You need to make sure you have a good knife, which I do. And you just want to look it over. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, I'm going to run a glove. I'm going to pick this bad boy up and I'm going to show it to you. And then we'll change our gloves out. That's a pork belly. There's the skin. And we're going to butcher it. We're going to skin her out. What you want to do is you want to get that knife down there between the meat and the skin. And I kind of use it, do like I would an old fish, how I'd fillet it. And that way I can make sure I get all the meat. That skin is tough and you'll know when you'll get down into it. I don't know why I do this stuff on the weekend, but I guess it's fun. <laughs> I don't know how y'all been doing, but you know, this coronavirus got us all worked up and everybody in a fizzy and everybody's really getting tired. I've been fortunate. I've been able to get out and uh, I have to work. Um, I guess I'm, my job is considered essential, so they allow me to work. Ask me, this is more essential than any old work. We like our pork bellies. We like bacon. We made basically, we fixed up, I'll show you later on. We fixed up uh, about 50 pounds earlier in the day. I'll save this one just for you all. Trying to get all that meat off that skin. It can be tough. You see how I'm pulling it back. I'm angling that knife down towards the skin to try to get all the meat I can off that skin. And to pull it tight just like you did, well, a good old rope that's going to save your life. It makes it a little bit easier.
This belly probably weighs about 14 pounds. Sometimes I get to buy these things with no skin on them, but I got a really good deal on these things this week. So I'm dealing with the skin. I don't really, uh, you know, it's a lot easier if it's already done, of course. I know Costco sells uh, pork belly a lot. I'm not sure about Sam's because I don't go in that place much. Uh, but I know Costco, you can buy it with the skin already removed. And it's probably going to cost you a couple dollars a pound. I paid 55 cents a pound for this stuff. So that's some pretty darn cheap bacon. That's a deal that don't come around too often. But I'll take it every day. skin now I take that skin this is the fun part because it's tough I'll probably have to take my knife to the sharpening mill to do that but as you can see we took and we cut them up in little bite-sized pieces actually they're about two bites and we season them up with our bold and spicy. We're gonna let these sit overnight. We're gonna cover them up. We're gonna let them sit overnight. And tomorrow we're gonna put them on our smoker and we're gonna smoke them for three or four hours. And after that, we'll take and we'll pan them up in a large pan and we'll dump some barbecue sauce on them, Weatherby's top shelf. And we'll continue to cook them on the smoker or your grill. Or, you know, if you don't have any of these things, you can do this in your oven too. And then we'll leave them open. We won't wrap them. And is what happens is they get crunchy on the outside. And then they just explode with flavor once you do get into them. You know, take that succulent bite out of them. And we'll show you that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Welcome to the world of Weatherby. Yesterday you saw us take our pork belly. We cut it in little squares. We seasoned it up with our bold and spicy. Well, we let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. We had covered it up, of course. And then earlier today, we came out and we fired our smoker up and we put the pork belly on and we let it smoke for about three hours at 225 and then we took it and we put it in a tray we added a little apple juice to it we covered it with foil and then we let it sit there in steam and get really juicy and tender and anyway the after that we uncovered it we added our top shelves to it and we mixed it all up and then we put it back into the smoker and we let it smoke for about another two hours and let it get nice and crunchy on the outside and get a good glaze going on it and now we're getting ready to take it off and we're going to show you what it's like and i'm probably going to have me a bite or two of it because i know it's really good but that's about it so i think it's ready so let's see what happens I hope y'all having a great day. I know I am. All right, now this is what we got. Look at them. Tongs. Pork belly. Look at it. It just comes apart. Mmm. Oh, that rocks. That's how you do pork bellies, folks. That top shelf on top there. Mm, got that little bit of heat from that bold and spicy. 
<laughs> it's out of this world. Mm. That this is cold beer. It's gonna go a long way tonight. Because it's better than finger licking good. I'm telling you. Wow. Amazing. Mm. Anyway, don't forget to share our Facebook page with your friends. We appreciate that. Stop in our webpage, weatheryrubs.com. Don't forget to join or subscribe, I should say, to our new YouTube channel. Share that with your friends. We're trying to spread the word because we know we got a good product. It's one of the best out there. Guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Until next week, enjoy your world.